For this project, we are going to look at the role engineering can play in art, and conversely, how adding design to engineering products can help spark the viewer's imagination. Cranks are mechanisms that convert circular motion into linear motion and vice versa. For example, a piston in a petrol or steam engine pushes in a linear direction and it's the crank that allows us to get circular motion and make the wheels turn. We are going to use this crank mechanism to power a flying dragon. Mechanical toys like this are often called automatons and were popular to make in Victorian times. As we spin the crankshaft, the dragon's body will rise and fall, causing the wings, head and tail to move as they hinge on the rods holding up the dragon. By decorating the dragon and the box that it sits on, we can see how good design can bring an idea to life. Here's what you'll need for today's build. Let's get started. First, design your dragon. You can use the design at the bottom of the worksheet or create your own. Here, we've drawn a design on card first and cut it out before using that as a stencil with colored card and glue to make it look more like a dragon. Create holes in the separate parts of the dragon and then use zip ties to connect them together. See the diagram at the bottom of this document to see where to place the holes. Cut rods roughly 7cm long and use the glue gun to attach them to each part of the dragon, except for the main body. The main body will attach to the connecting rod. If you want to customise and personalise your dragon, now is a good time to add extra designs. Here we have used coloured card to make it look like the dragon is flying over hills and sky. Cut a hole in the centre of the lid for the connecting rod. Then cut a second hole all the way through the middle of the longest side of the box, as this is where the crank will go. Now cut the crank and bend the metal in the middle like this. It needs to be long enough to poke through the width and to make a handle. Also, it's fine if you overestimate the length. You'll be able to trim this down later. Now slide the crank the rest of the way through the box and bend the wire twice to create a handle shape. This will automatically stop the crank from slipping back through the hole. Now we're going to make the connecting rod. To do this, we use the needle nose pliers and bend the rod like this. Make a single bend in the wire as shown. This now holds the crank in place. We're now going to use zip ties to hold the connecting rod in place on the crank. Without these, the rod can easily slide out of place and get jammed. Insert the connecting rod through the lid and test the crank motion. If you need to, adjust the crank to get a smooth spin. The wire should be easy to bend and move until you get a good motion. Now we're going to make holes on the lid in line with the rods on your dragon. Poke the rods through and fix them in place with blue tack. Finally, use hot glue to glue the connecting rod to the body of your dragon. The glue should be strong enough to hold the dragon up, but also be flexible enough to hinge. Keep making adjustments to your automaton until you are happy with the motion and have a think about which other animals you could make. You can find out more about the science behind this invention, step-by-step -step instructions, and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imeke.org forward slash stem at home.